Well, tonight, Alabama Congressman Mo Brooks and his wife are speaking out after being sued by a colleague on Capitol Hill. Brooks is named in a lawsuit filed by a California Democratic congressman alleging Brooks, former President Trump and others broke the law by inciting the January 6th riot. NBC 15's Rachel Wilkerson joins us now. Rachel, the Brooks are upset with the way they were served papers. That's right, Greg. The Brooks family says the process server broke the law and wants an apology. This video from Congressman Mo Brooks home surveillance camera shows a process server pulling into the driveway behind Martha Brooks. He hops out and enters the garage. What was going through your mind at that time? Well, when I opened the door and saw him there, I had just driven into an empty garage and all of a sudden there was a man standing right there holding a cell phone videotaping me. It was about two feet away from my face. Martha Brooks says she was startled and terrified at first, then became angry once he told her he was there to serve her husband, Mo Brooks. I just started screaming at him at the top of my lungs, get out of my house. And he said, I, I have to serve you these papers. And I said, I will not speak to you until you get out of my house. And finally, I'm yelling at him. I'm telling him I'm going to call the police. I just get out of my house. He put the papers down on the floor and he said, Mo Brooks, you are served. And he walked out of the house. Mo Brooks says he doesn't plan to contest this in court, but is upset with the way this happened. So this man should never, never have gone into our home or any other home to serve process. If he is outside, that's fine. He can walk onto our property, that's fine. Congressman Eric Swalwell's team, who is suing Brooks, argues the process server did not break the law. What the Swalwell team is saying is laughable. Maybe they don't understand that in Alabama, a garage that is a part of the house is the house. The lawsuit alleges Brooks played a role in inciting the January 6th attack on the Capitol. There is zero evidence to support the complaint. Zero, okay? I have an absolute First Amendment right to express my viewpoint on whether there was voter fraud and election theft. Brooks says he's seen Swalwell roughly 100 times since the lawsuit was filed and wonders why he wasn't served then. But instead, he takes this approach, and that's dishonorable, and he should apologize. And as for the individual who did it, I suspect he's going to be looking at an arrest warrant. Brooks says they're looking to press charges for trespassing, which is a Class A misdemeanor with jail time up to a year and a $6,000 fine. Greg.